Journey into the shadows of history, where the practice of inbreeding unfolds its dark tales. From preserving power to clinging to wealth or religious purity, the consequences have been severe. Families entrapped in their own circles chose to marry close relatives, stacking the odds against genetic diversity and paving the way for health issues and physical abnormalities. Join us as we delve into historical cases spanning ancient civilizations to recent communities where inbreeding shaped destinies, caused disruptions, and posed extraordinary challenges. Ancient Irish Royals Let's travel back to Neolithic Ireland, a time when societies were structured quite differently than today. Imagine a burial site known as the Nugrange Tomb, where the elites of that time were laid to rest. These elites, or upper-class individuals, had certain practices that were quite shocking to us today. In 2020, scientists conducted a study on this burial site. They took a closer look at the genetic material of a man buried in the tomb. What they found was quite surprising. It strongly suggested that this man was a result of first-degree incest, meaning he was likely born from unions between siblings or even between a parent and a child. This discovery tells us that these elite upper-class individuals were practicing a form of marriage that involved very close family members. It's like a family tree that loops back on itself, with close relatives marrying each other, almost like a trunk. This was a stark contrast to what was happening in the lower classes, the regular folks who weren't part of this elite group. The socioeconomic divide played a role in how these practices were carried out. The higher-ups in society were engaging in these close family unions, perhaps to maintain a certain status or uphold traditions. Meanwhile, the everyday people in lower classes likely had different marriage practices without the same level of close family ties. Short Creek FLDS Community The intriguing and complex situation involves the Fundamentalist Church of Jesus Christ of the Latter-day Saints FLDS in Short Creek on the border of Utah and Arizona. This community, known for its highly conservative religious practices and polygamous marriages, found itself grappling with the long-term effects of inbreeding. The story begins with a pediatric neurologist named Theodore Tarby, who examined a young boy from the FLDS community in 1990. This examination led to the identification of a rare genetic disorder called fumarase deficiency. The disorder severely impairs the body's ability to supply energy and has profound implications for brain development. Individuals affected typically experience cognitive impairments, seizures, and physical disabilities. At the time of this discovery, this deficiency was an extremely rare condition, with only a handful of known cases. However, subsequent examinations within the Short Creek FLDS community revealed a staggering eight new cases. This was a clear indication that the disorder was not a random occurrence, but had a concentrated presence within this particular religious community. The genetic disorder's prevalence within the FLDS community raised questions about the potential role of inbreeding. The community, driven by the principles of the FLDS faith, practiced polygamy, with individuals encouraged to have as many children as possible within the confines of these plural marriages. The closed-off nature of the community and the limited gene pool resulted in a higher likelihood of individuals marrying close relatives. Charles II of Spain the tale of Charles II of Spain is a tragic chapter in history that vividly illustrates the severe consequences of inbreeding within a royal dynasty. Charles II was a member of the Habsburg dynasty, a family that had earned a notorious reputation for consistently intermarrying among close relatives over several generations. Born in 1661, Charles II faced a litany of health issues that were directly linked to the extensive inbreeding within his family tree. As a result of these close familial unions, he suffered from a range of physical and developmental problems. His afflictions included physical deformities, developmental delays, epilepsy, and even early onset baldness. One striking aspect of Charles II's condition was his infertility, a critical factor that played a pivotal role in the decline of the Habsburg dynasty in Spain. Despite marrying twice, he was unable to produce an heir to the throne. This lack of a direct heir was a major blow to the dynasty, as the continuation of a royal lineage was of utmost importance during that period. 
The root cause of Charles II's myriad health issues was the extensive intermarriage within the Habsburg family. His parents were niece and uncle, while his grandmother was also his aunt. The family's obsession with maintaining its wealth and power through endogamous marriage had created a tangled web of familial relations. This intricate web ultimately contributed to Charles II's physical and reproductive challenges. Maria Antonia of Austria Maria Antonia, often referred to as Maria Antonia of Austria, was the niece of Charles II of Spain and experienced the highest known inbreeding coefficient within her family. The intricate dynamics of her family's genealogy played a significant role in shaping her life, marked by potential genetic challenges and a tragic end at a young age. Maria Antonia's parents were Holy Roman Emperor Leopold I and Margaret Theresa. Their union was characterized by a double connection as first cousins and uncle and niece to each other. This level of intermarriage resulted in a high inbreeding coefficient for Maria Antonia, indicating an increased likelihood of sharing identical genes due to the close familial relationship between her parents. Despite the potential genetic challenges associated with such a degree of inbreeding, Maria's life appeared relatively unaffected for a period. However, her story took a tragic turn when she faced complications during childbirth, leading to her untimely demise at the age of 25. The birth complications that she experienced could be seen as a manifestation of the potential risks associated with inbreeding. Genetic disorders and health issues are more likely to surface when individuals share a significant portion of their genetic material, as is the case in closely related marriages. The complex interplay of genetics and historical circumstances is evident in Maria's life. The historical context of the time, marked by familial and political alliances, influenced the choices of marriages within royal families. The Habsburg dynasty, to which Maria belonged, had a long history of intermarriage, driven by a desire to maintain power and preserve familial wealth. Her relatively unaffected life during her early years might be attributed to chance, as the genetic consequences of inbreeding can vary among individuals. The birth complications that ultimately led to her death underscore the potential risks associated with such familial unions. Ancient Hawaiian Royals in ancient Hawaiian society, the nobility held a distinct and privileged status at the top of the social hierarchy. Part of maintaining this elevated status involved engaging in first-degree relative marriages, such as unions between siblings or between parents and children. This practice was considered a mark of high status and was deeply intertwined with the complex cultural and social fabric of ancient Hawaiian life. Marriage among close relatives of the elite class was not only a way to preserve bloodlines, but was also believed to enhance the status of the offspring, reinforcing the noble lineage. The concept of kapu, a set of social and religious rules, demanded a high level of respect for the Hawaiian royalty. Breaking kapu, especially in matters related to the royalty, could result in severe consequences, including death. The clash between traditional Hawaiian practices and the arrival of European influence in the 19th century created emotional turmoil and upheaval within this elite class. European explorers and missionaries brought with them a different set of cultural values and norms, including views on marriage and kinship that sharply contrasted with those of ancient Hawaiian society. One significant episode reflecting this clash occurred with King Kamehameha III and his sister. The elite class attempted to adhere to their traditional practices, which included the prospect of marriage between close relatives. The king and his sister reportedly attempted to marry, representing an emotionally fraught situation caught between the old ways and the new influences brought by European visitors. The king's sister, facing the conflict between her family's traditions and the pressures of the changing times, was later persuaded to marry someone else, likely under the influence of the growing Christian influence in Hawaii. The historical cases of inbreeding examined in this comprehensive overview shed light on the profound and far-reaching consequences that such practices have had on individuals, families, and entire societies. These instances, spanning from ancient civilizations to more recent communities, reveal the intricate interplay between genetic practices, cultural norms, and the specific historical circumstances that collectively shaped the trajectory of countless lives. So what are your thoughts on all of this? 
Let us know in the comments section down below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.